Well, MM Forging, that's the stock on our radar. Let's get chatting with the vice chairman and MD of the company, Mr. Krishnan, to understand the overall outlook for FY23. Hi, Mr. Krishnan, always good speaking to you. Well, you had your numbers just in the past week or so. So we said, let's call you and let's ask you what's the outlook from year on. Now, focusing on the top line first, you've given a very wide range, 1,300 to around 1,500 crore rupees odd. Do you think that you'll be towards the higher end or towards the lower end by the end of this year? And also in terms of volumes, 80 to 90,000 tons, what's it likely to be? Midpoint or to drifting towards the higher end? I ask you this because there are some challenges that are keep it creeping up globally. Go ahead. I, I think it'll be between, uh, hi Nigel, it'll be between the midpoint and the, and the lower end. The point, all right. 1300 to 1400 crores is the top line that you're guiding for and uh, between 80 to 85,000 tons uh, in terms of volumes. Yep. Yeah, so I'll take off from where Nigel said, you know, uh, the global problems, Europe, which accounts for what, around 17% of your sales, out there yeah. you've guided for a volume decline of uh, anywhere between 10 to 20% this year. Uh, are you worried that could there be a further downside potential to this? Uh, I mean, how is the situation since the end of the previous quarter? Definitely the geopolitical situation in Europe and uh, Europe particularly has uh, gone uh, much more volatile and uh, to the uh, detrimental side of volatility. So uh, volumes there are uh, especially dicey. We would uh, we could see about 20% uh, fall in uh, European offtake right through this year. Okay, all right. The, the Ukrainian conflict is not helping anybody anywhere. It's uh, dragging on and uh, therefore that's playing a big impact. Okay, got it. Uh, you know, Mr. Krishnan, two-part question now. You have, you have capacities in place that you can get yeah. to around 2,000 crores. Now, by when do you think you can get out, get to that mark? You're guiding for around 13 to 1,400 crores out here. Yeah? Do you think by FY25, you can hit that number of 2,000 crores, point number one, and also give us a rough guidance in terms of EBITDA per ton? I think for the past quarter, you were in that vicinity of around 34,000. Go ahead. For, uh, as far as... Uh... You know, the 2,000 crore mark is concerned. I think FY25 should be reasonable, given a, a broad, uh, decent uh, macroeconomic situation. Now, uh, the macroeconomic situation is a joker in the pack. But broadly speaking, FY25 looks uh, to be reasonably clear. The uh, reason I'm a little bit confident about it is that uh, cycles are becoming much shorter and central banks are reacting much faster these days. So with all the hike in interest rates and everything, I'm sure very quickly we'll see uh, inflation coming down. Of course, oil in, oil will still stick, and uh, overall we will see uh, things b uh, back to normal faster than usual. EBITDA per ton. FY twenty five, we should look at about uh, two thousand crores, and EBITDA per ton is likely to stay uh, at around thirty four thousand tons with an upward bias. Yes, there will be uh, volume uh, uh, advantages of scale, no doubt about it. Mm. But uh, there will also be pressures on uh, margins due to higher wages, okay. uh, power costs, etc. Okay. So, you know, that's a, that's a little bit on the dicier side. All right. I would say it will balance mm. uh, with uh, a positive bias. Okay, so 34,000 rupees per ton. If I take 80,000 to 85,000 odd, I just do a quick multiplication. Your EBITDA for the year should be around 280 to 290 crores odd. Is that a given? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's reasonable to assume. Okay. All right, we take that point. Uh, let's talk about a couple of your other, uh, you know, growth verticals, Mr. Vidya Shankar. Um, Kaforma, you expected uh, this business to add almost over a hundred crores in terms of revenue. Where does that stand at? At uh, you know, peak uh, manufacturing, it could also do over one hundred and fifty crores, as you had earlier pointed out. That's one. And secondly, off highway. I mean, that was one percent last year. That's jumped to around five percent of your overall sales, and that's what you said. Uh, you know, held your margin steady. Where does this contribution uh, be by the end of this year and say over the next couple of years? First questions uh, first. Kafoma, we would see uh, is going uh, reasonably well. Mm -hmm. uh, the impact of Kafoma is not just in Kafoma itself, but also what uh, synergies it brings to MM Forgings uh, as a parent. So both together, I would see, uh, I would say that Kafoma is uh, uh, headed for about. 60 plus this year and ultimately we are on target to cross the 100 crore mark over the next year or so and uh, off highway off highway we are uh, hovering at around five percent this year as of now i would uh, say that this is uh, headed around the six to seven percent level okay all right uh, 
You know, Mr. Krishnan, what the street has really been waiting for is that EV foray. The last time around, you teased us a little bit. You said that that's coming. We haven't heard anything about that, but the street believes that there is something coming. Could you tell us, you know, what's what's the trajectory out here in terms of EV? Are you going to be making an announcement anytime soon? And short point is, in FY23, do we see some contribution coming in from this EV foray? It's uh, final days, and uh, definitely we'll come back to you on this. We are working on it very closely. Uh, something in in the next uh, quarter, early part of next quarter, or or the uh, first half of next quarter, we should come up with something on on this. And I would say it will not be adding anything to revenues in FY twenty three. Okay. If at all it adds, there will be it will be very uh, negligible. So can you tell us? I I understand that you won't be able to speak. Uh, yeah, you, I understand you won't be able to give any specifics on this because it's still work in progress, final days, as you said. But uh, Mr. Krishnan, if you could tell us, you know, what is the addressable market that you're targeting here? What space in the EVs are you looking at? What sort of market share eventually are you looking at? Uh, the ramp-up glide path, if you can give us, because FY23 is a foregone conclusion. Say FY24, you get 8% and then you uh, aim higher from there. Could you give us some more details on that? The total addressable market and the share that you're... Uh, targeting there a quick uh, calculation at our end reveals that uh, the ev market in india over the next seven to eight years by close to this uh, decade will be end of this decade will be worth about a minimum seventy five thousand to one lakh twenty five thousand crores hmm. assuming certain levels of penetration for each of those segments now uh, if we can take one percent two percent half a percent five percent you take your pick i, I mean I the numbers are staggering the numbers are staggering. In, uh, mm. in We're not so, taking that pick. You're the one who's doing the business. So you are going to tell us the pick that you're targeting, right? I mean, we can take any number. That won't make any sense unless you go ahead and go ahead and achieve those numbers. Yeah, yeah, sure. Great. It's, it's, we have to walk the talk. That it, I would uh, put it very clearly. We have to walk the talk. Yeah. So what I'm saying, market is large. Okay. So that's a, mark, that's a market that's going to be created okay. in the next few years. Okay. And we have to walk the talk. We have to, uh, we have to get there. Okay. Finally, very, very quickly, sir. End of this year, what should the net debt number look like? Your CAPEX plan is around 250 to 270 crores. Net debt number at the end of this year, what does it look like? Net debt would be about 570 overall. Net debt, right? 570 yeah. crores. Good speaking to you, Mr. Krishna. Thanks so much for stopping by. We're going to look forward to chatting up with you. We have got all the numbers that you put <laughs> down. Next time around, we're going to check whether or not you're keeping up to that. And by next quarter... Have... You yes. guys have really long memory, huh? Really long memory. <laughs> yeah, that, I that, should be very careful about what I speak in that, future. That's our job, sir. And we're going to keep that EV foray in mind. So the next time you join us, we're hoping to hear something on that front. It's been good speaking to you. Good. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by. But we have completely run out of time on this show. You stay with us. Trading R comes up next.